if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, is apparently Mexico's new motto, though maybe some of the folks down there should think about sitting down and taking a siesta. About a year ago, they filed a lawsuit in US courts to sue American gun manufacturers for $10 billion. Billion? It was dismissed earlier this month for basically being ridiculous and unfounded, so now Mexico has decided to go after American FFLs directly. And not just for the people of Mexico, but for America. This is for America, baby! Stick around for this one. Hello, Liberty fam, and welcome back to the channel. It seems the anti-gun crowd is willing to blame anyone and everyone but themselves and their own policies for crime and violence. Folks in the Mexican government, too, seem to be grasping at straws. But before I get into all of that, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Sightmark. Sightmark was founded in 2007 to bring durable, functional, and accurate sights to the AR market. They provide high-grade optics for everything from tactical to hunting use to help you be as accurate and efficient as possible. To check out their industry-leading scopes and sights, go to sightmark.com. So back to today's super awesome fun times. In the original lawsuit, the Mexican government claimed that if it weren't for the American gun lobby, Mexico would be a peaceful and crime and cartel free place. You see, according to them, US gun makers specifically market their guns to the cartel and then tell FFLs to illegally sell them to the cartel. It really shouldn't be a surprise that a district judge dismissed the lawsuit under the Protection of Lawful Commerce and Arms Act because their claims, while sounding very familiar to the arguments of Moms Demand, Giffords, and Every Town, were flat out ridiculous. I'll put my video explaining the first lawsuit linked up at the top. But it's that same gang of anti-gun folks that have joined up with the Mexican government, this time going after some smaller fish. With the aid of a Texas lawyer and a DC lawyer from Global Action on Gun Violence, Mexico is suing five FFLs in Arizona. According to a press release, Mexico is suing Diamondback Shooting Sports in Tucson, SNG Tactical, also of Tucson, Lone Prairie, known as the Hub Target Sports in Tucson, Ammo A to Z in Phoenix, and Sprague's Sports in Yuma. The lawsuit alleges that these dealers routinely and systematically engage in the illicit trafficking of weapons, including of military-style weapons, for criminal organizations in Mexico through sales to straw purchasers and sales meant for arms smugglers. The lawsuit is part of a multifaceted strategy by the government of Mexico to stop the avalanche of guns, particularly assault weapons, coming from the United States that empower criminal groups, cause bloodshed in Mexico, and contribute to drug trafficking to the United States. This lawsuit, Mexico claims, is also in the interest of the American people. Oh my god, that's so generous! This court action in no way challenges the constitutional right of U.S. citizens to bear arms, nor the right of stores to sell their products responsibly and lawfully. The lawsuit addresses a cause shared by both countries whose citizens suffer from illicit firearms practices. Thank you for fighting for America. While the full text of the lawsuit is not yet available electronically, I expect it will be similar to the one that was already dismissed. Even just the press release already looks pretty similar. For example, officials say that the listed stores do not comply with required safeguards, cause foreseeable damage, use misleading advertising, sell guns that are turned into automatic weapons, cause a disturbance of public order, and violate state and federal laws, causing enormous damage in Mexico. I mean, according to the ATF, pretty much anything can be turned into a full auto gun with a couple of zip ties or a rubber band. It's very nice. it's very nice. The Foreign Affairs Secretary says that this is part of an obvious pattern and that Mexico is seeking both monetary damages and for the shops to hire independent monitors to ensure they're complying with federal laws. 
Hard no. The Foreign Affairs Department claims that they have proof from U.S. criminal investigations that these five FFLs, which Mexico says are the worst of the worst, are illegally trafficking guns into Mexico and that they have evidence that these shops aren't filing the proper paperwork. Which begs the question, if the U.S. government has this evidence and it is indeed real, why isn't the ATF doing anything about it? I mean, if true, these five shops could be the ATF's biggest competition in gun trafficking. This little piggy was in Fast and the Furious. Biden has made it clear that he's going after the little guy, even though his Justice Department just gave a couple of arms traffickers a light sentence of five years probation. So I doubt that this evidence really exists, or else we would have heard of all of these shops already getting a knock and talk. We'll see if this one is also dismissed or not, as this time around Mexico is trying to go the route of claiming these shops are violating U.S. gun law. I'd say it's largely a publicity stunt to get the breathless headlines and likely isn't going to go anywhere. Though if it does, maybe Mexico will be able to answer how 30% of the firearms they buy from the U.S. somehow disappear from their own military bases. Nothing to see here. The only gun store in the entire country is inside a military base, and only military members can buy guns. And yet, Mexican journalists report that those are the guns showing up in crime scenes. So maybe the Mexican government should investigate that claim first. That is it for this one, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe if you're new here. Check out the support options down in the description, including super thanks, the handy dandy chip jar, PayPal, and subscribe star. And as always, thanks for tuning in. Stay safe and happy shooting.